Hey besties, if you're struggling with weight-based dosage calculations, you are not alone. Today we're going to be breaking down these problems step by step so you can feel more confident when it comes to answering them. So grab your calculator, coffee, and confidence, and let's get started. So when it comes to solving these problems, the best way to do that is using dimensional analysis. Typically we like to start off with the patient's weight, and then underneath it in the denominator of our fraction, we like to list the person, whether it's an adult, it's a child, or it's an infant. Because these problems typically start with the child's weight in pounds, we're going to have to convert it to kilograms because a lot of medications are based off of kilograms. So our next fraction is going to be our conversion. We're going to list the pounds on the bottom and the kilograms on the top. Our next fraction is going to be our desired dose. What is actually ordered for this patient? So we're going to put the dose per unit, which is usually kilograms, and our top is going to be our desired dose. And then lastly, it's what's available to us. So we're going to put the dosage that we have available to us in the volume that it is available in. Let's get started with some practice questions. So our first question states, a child who keeps yelling, I want a dinosaur nugget has been prescribed 15 milligrams per kilogram twice daily. The child's weight is 30 pounds and the medication comes in 250 milligram tablets. So what are we going to start with? What do we know? Well, we want to start with our child. This is who we're giving the medication to. So we know we have one child and they weigh 30 pounds. So we're going to plug in our child's weight at the top of our first fraction. And we're going to list that we have one child at the bottom of our fraction. Next up, we need to do our conversion. So we know that one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. So we're going to list 2.2 pounds at the bottom and one kilogram at the top. Make sure that you're lining everything up correctly because we need to start canceling things out. Pounds needs to cancel out pounds. So make sure what's ever in the numerator, the next fraction it needs to be in the denominator in order to cancel each other out. Next up, we want to see what is our desired dose. We know that we need to provide this child with 15 milligrams per kilogram. Making sure that we line everything up, we want to list one kilogram on the bottom because kilograms is going to cancel out kilograms. And we know that for each kilogram, this child is going to receive 15 milligrams. Lastly, what do we have available to us? We know that we have 250 milligrams per one capsule. So again, lining it up, I'm going to put my 250 milligrams on the bottom and I'm going to put my one capsule on the top. So if we lined up everything correctly, we should only be left with how many capsules we're going to give the child. So let's take a look. Pounds is going to cancel out pounds. Kilograms is going to cancel out kilograms. Milligrams is going to cancel out milligrams. And we're only left with capsules per child. Now we want to make sure that we multiply everything that's on the top of our fraction and everything that's on the bottom of our fractions. So starting with the top of our fractions, we have 30 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 15 multiplied by 1 gives us 450. And for our bottom, we have 1 multiplied by 2.2 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 250 gives us 550. We're going to divide these. So we have 450 divided by 550, and that gives us our correct answer, 0.8 two capsules. Now here's the deal. We can't give 0.82 capsules to a patient. So in this particular case, we want to be reaching out to the provider to see if there's some other kind of medication that they want to give, maybe a different kind of oral suspension versus capsules, so on and so forth. But yes, this would be a situation where we are reaching out to the provider. Our next practice question states, a sweet but sassy two-year-old needs 10 milligrams per kilogram once daily. The toddler weighs 22 pounds and the medication comes in a suspension of 100 milligrams per 5 mLs. So what are we starting with? We're starting with what we know. We know about our little sassy toddler. So our toddler weighs 22 pounds. We're going to go ahead and plug that in 22 pounds on the top of our fraction and one toddler on the bottom of our fraction. Next up, we want to do some conversions because we know the medication is available per kilograms. So we know that one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. So I'm going to put 2.2 pounds on the bottom to line up my fractions and one kilogram on the top. Next up, we need to figure out what we want to give. So in this case, we know we want to give 10 milligrams per kilogram. So I'm going to put my one kilogram on the bottom because that'll line up with my previous fraction. And I'm going to put my 10 milligrams on the top. 
And lastly, what is it available in? We know we have 100 milligrams per 5 mLs. So I'm going to put my 100 milligrams on the bottom and my 5 mLs on the top. So real quickly, we're gonna wanna make sure that everything lines up so we're only left with mLs for the toddler. So we know that pounds is gonna cancel out pounds, kilograms is gonna cancel out kilograms, milligrams is gonna cancel out milligrams, leaving us with mLs for our toddler. So now we're gonna do a little handy dandy math. We're gonna multiply everything on the top of our fractions and everything on the bottom of our fractions. We have 22 multiplied by one, multiplied by 10, multiplied by five gives us 1,000 100. Now for everything on the bottom, we have 1 multiplied by 2.2 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 100 gives us 220. Now we're just going to do a little bit of division. We have 1100 divided by 220 gives us our correct answer of 5 mLs. Our next practice question states, an older child who thinks slime is the greatest invention ever requires 20 milligrams per kilogram three times a day. They weigh 44 pounds and the IV solution has 100 milligrams in 50 mLs. So now let's set up our equation. So we start with what we know and that is the child. We know that we have one child and they weigh 44 pounds. So I'm gonna put 44 pounds on the top and my child on the bottom. Next up, we're gonna to need to do a conversion because we know we have pounds and we need to configure it for kilograms. So we know one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. I'm gonna put 2.2 pounds on the bottom and one kilogram on the top. Next up, we have the desired dose. What do we wanna give this child? We wanna give them 20 milligrams per kilogram. So I'm gonna put my one kilogram on the bottom and 20 milligrams on the top. And lastly, what is it available in? We know that we have 100 milligrams in 50 mLs. So I'm gonna put my 100 milligrams on the bottom and 50 mLs on the top. So now let's make sure we're only left with mLs for this child. We know pounds cancels out pounds, kilograms to kilograms, milligrams to milligrams, leaving mLs per child. Now that we know that everything's lined up, let's do our math. So we're multiplying everything on the top. We have 44 multiplied by one, multiplied by 20, multiplied by 50, gives us 44,000. And for our bottom, we have one multiplied by 2.2, multiplied by one, multiplied by 100, gives us 220. Now to do a little division, we have 44,000 divided by 220, gives us our correct answer, 200 mLs IV three times a day. Our next practice question states, an adult who's absolutely certain that they can communicate with houseplants needs a continuous infusion of two milligrams per kilogram per hour. They weigh 60 kilograms and the IV bag is 1,000 milligrams in 500 mLs. How many mLs are we going to give per hour? So as always, we want to start off with what we're giving this medication to. In this case, we're giving this to an adult, and we know the adult weighs 60 kilograms. So I'm going to put my 60 kilograms on the top and my one adult on the bottom. What's interesting about this practice question is that the adult has already been converted into kilograms. So we won't have to do any conversions when it comes to pounds to kilograms. So our next fraction is going to be the desired dose. And in this case, we know that we're gonna give two milligrams per kilogram. So I'm gonna put my one kilogram on the bottom and my two milligrams on the top. And lastly, what is the dose available in? What's the availability? So we know we have 1,000 milligrams and 500 mLs. So I'm gonna put my 1,000 milligrams on the bottom and my 500 mLs on the top. And now the only thing that we should be left with is the mLs that we're gonna give this adult per hour. So what do we have? We have kilograms canceling out kilograms, milligrams canceling out milligrams, and we have mLs for this adult that we're going to give over each hour. So now we're gonna do a little bit of math. We have 60 multiplied by two, multiplied by 500 is going to give us our top number of 60. Now for our bottom number, we have one multiplied by one multiplied by a thousand, of course, gives us 1000. So now we're going to do a little bit of division. There's an easy way and then there's a little bit of an easier way to do it. You can use your calculator, but you can also do this. You can start canceling out some zeros. So I've got three zeros on the bottom. I've got three zeros on the top. So all I'm left with is 60 mLs Per hour. But of course, you can also use the calculator as well. We've got 60,000 divided by 1,000. Again, gives us our correct answer of 60. 
And for our last practice question, we have a toddler who believes that they can speak fish is weighing 33 pounds and they are prescribed 10 milligrams per kilogram three times a day. The medication is only sold in a liquid form containing two grams per 20 mLs. So this problem is a little bit more complicated because not only do we have to convert between pounds and kilograms, we also need to convert between milligrams and grams. So don't freak out. We got this. We're going to use dimensional analysis. Starting with what we know, who are we giving this medication to? We're giving it to our toddler. So our toddler, we know, weighs 33 pounds. 33 pounds on the top of our fraction and one toddler on the bottom of our fraction. Next up, we need to do a little bit of conversions because we know that we need to go from pounds to kilograms based on our question. So we know that one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. So one kilogram over 2.2 pounds. Next up, what is the medication that we want to give? So we know that we want to give 10 milligrams per kilograms to this toddler. So I'm going to put my 10 milligrams on top and my one kilogram on the bottom. Now here's the deal. We know we need to go from milligrams to grams. So we're going to have to do another conversion. We know that one gram is equal to a thousand milligrams. So I'm going to put my one gram on the top of my fraction and thousand milligrams on the bottom of my fraction. Now we just need to finish up with what the medication is available in. So we know that we have two grams per 20 mLs. So I'm going to put my two grams on the bottom and my 20 mLs on the top. So now let's go through very carefully and make sure that everything is lined up and it's going to cancel each other out. So all we're left with is how many mLs we're going to give this toddler. So starting here, we have pounds, cancels out pounds, kilograms, cancel out kilograms, milligrams, cancel out milligrams, and grams cancels out grams. So we're only left with mLs to provide to the toddler. So now let's do some math. Everything on the top of our fraction, we have 33 multiplied by 1, multiplied by 10, multiplied by 1, multiplied by 20 gives us 6,060. And at the bottom, we have 1 multiplied by 2.2, multiplied by 1, multiplied by 1,000, multiplied by 2, gives us 4,400. Now we're just going to do a little bit of division. We have 6,600 divided by 4,400, gives us our correct answer of 1.5 mLs per dose three times a day. I hope that this video is helpful in understanding what you need to know when it comes to weight-based dosage calculations. If you found this video helpful, make sure that you give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment down below. I love answering your questions. Head over to nursechunkstore.com where there's a ton of additional resources in order to help you feel a little bit more confident when it comes to those dosage calculation exams. And as always, I'm going to catch you in the next video.